How old are you? 42. No way. Yeah, I'm not 25. Did you say 42? I'm not 25. Yeah, 42. <laughs> oh my God, you look fantastic. Yeah, I know. I actually look younger now than when I started doing TikTok like a couple of years ago. What I've been, changed? I have lots of better technology now. I mean, <laughs> better technology and of, of making you look better or actually look being better both both yeah, it, it's well, funny there's some cheat codes in life we should discuss them that you know taking care of yourself your mind and your body the age in reverse exactly yeah yeah i'm all about transforming from the inside and then it shows on the outside right it's not like people who um just you know do cosmetic surgery and then but they're like actually really sick <laughs> I love that. I love it. You're, you're like my, my, my Asian brother. Yeah. Asian brother from another mother. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and from another country. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I like my Canadian people though. Yeah. So um, tell us more about your story. I, I read a little bit about it, but maybe you hear from, uh, from yourself. Well, I did it the hard way. <laughs> I go about life. So I did everything outside in. So I would try to cultivate this amazing life by working really, really hard and, and um, partying really, really hard and, and just going about the world with, with a chip on my shoulder and just re trying to drink the poison and expecting everybody else to die and just figured that if I just grit it and bear it and just grind as hard as I could that I would be successful. And I achieved pretty good monetary success, but I was a miserable, miserable person. And I hit the, the proverbial ceiling where it's like, this isn't working. What am I going to do? And the one constant in my life that kept coming up was alcohol. And it's like, okay, you know, I, I don't believe I have a problem with it, but definitely every time there's an issue, alcohol is present. I'm going to take a little break from it. So I took a little break and I took a longer break and then I took a permanent break. And ever since I've done that, the the my vibrational energy has changed so tremendously that that it, everything in my life is getting better and better and better and i just started doing this thing like called harder than life where i said hey let's do some let's face our fears and then live our dreams and this all started with childhood trauma i mean my parents were just terrible terrible people they did the best they could with what they had um physical and emotional abuse you name it, it happened to me. It's in it's in my book, Harder Than Life, where I basically said, you know, they they abused me as a child, and it was not right. And to, in today's society, you know, they would have probably be in jail. But you can be a victim or a, or a victor, and I choose to to be the victor. And you know, they didn't do everything wasn't bad. There were some good things. They taught me hard work and determination and that grit to overcome any odds, anything. Like, it, w w as a matter of fact, when things go bad is when I start doing my work. Um, now, I'm really interested to learn more from you because I'm, I am fascinated by the world's vibration, vibrational energy and about the secret and, you know, how we can manifest things. I think I do it uh, pretty well, but I'm a student of the game and I'm a learn it all. And I want to, I want to know more and more and more, because no matter how much work you do, you know, doing the work, it, you should always get better. And you, you, you still tend to slip here and there. There's certain days that I'm on my point and there's certain days I'm not. Um, and I think it's the vibrational energy of the universe and it has to be something internally. So I'm a big, I flipped that on everything on its head. And the harder the life means to me is I'm going to I'm going to vibrate well internally, and it's an inside out happiness job versus an outside in job. Mm -hmm. So that was a two minute overview of 47 years of craziness. Mm -hmm. um, I do it with still a lot of brute force, and a lot of um, I'm working better and better and better at surrendering and allowing the universe to do its magic. And I really do believe everything happens for me, not to me. There's certain days where I can sit back and go, whoa, somebody is really something or somebody is really looking out for me. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. that that's my story in a, in a quick two to three minutes. Right. Well, that's a great story. It's very inspiring. I think there's a lot of people listening to this or watching this that want to know like what is the thing that helped you to get through what you did 
um, especially people who had who you know suffer with addiction, alcoholism, uh, or had trauma uh, from their childhood or from the past. What do you think would be the the key thing that helped you through it? Well, I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. It, 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 there's there's I didn't hit rock bottom. I wrote about it in my book, Harder Than Life. I I did not hit rock bottom. I did not get a DUI. I didn't beat my girlfriend or wife. I didn't, nothing bad happened. I just got sick and tired of being hungover and looking for my cars, spending all the money, all the collateral damage that I didn't think was big, that big of a deal. I, you know, most of us, when, when you're, when you're, when you're in the thralls of something, you, you don't know a contrast. You don't know what life is like without alcohol. You don't know what, calmness is what freedom is what what lack of chaos and just and i just knew that my life was destined for something better and the only thing that w- was holding me back was this was the only toxic behavior that i had and was it was alcohol now it wasn't like i would drink one drink and then that spiraled into 30 and i'd fall down and sleep in a gutter it, it just was you know, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I just, I, I, I teed it up. And then that would be into Wednesdays of having a cocktail while I'm cooking dinner with my daughter. And it just, life wasn't fulfilling. And I got a newsflash for you. I'm four and a half years saying no to, to drinking. I was right. There's a hell of another world out there of massive success and massive winning when you say no to toxins. And then I started getting addicted to winning. So I'm like, what else can I do? So I started reading a ton. I read a book a week. No true reading, an actual book, not listening to audiobooks. I, I actually read and I'm not, not knocking audiobooks. It's if you're going to better your mind. I'll send you a copy of mine. I, I please do. I'll send you one of mine. I, I didn't I didn't know about it. I'm getting to know you and I think we're going to be fast friends. And I, 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 you know, as you I've gone down this personal development journey, I am meeting so many like-minded individuals. You know, and all I knew was partiers before. So I, I, I really want to help people and show that there's another way and model and inspire uh, the type of life that I think everybody wants to live. I really do. I, I didn't grow up thinking, hey, I'm going to party and be the A1 rock star of the year. It just happened, mm-hmm. you know, and, and then until I got tired of it and I stopped it. And most people can't stop. Did you find that one of the things you had to change was your associations with other people that were also like partying and drinking a lot. <laughs> David, I changed everything. My brother, everything. The only thing that stayed the same in my life, and even that I enhanced, was working out. I always, I used to justify. We're we're great as humans to justify our behaviors and our decisions. It's, I used to justify my drinking and and anything really with, hey, I work every day and I work out every day, and as long as I did those two things. I gave myself the ability to do whatever and rationalize any stupidity, stupid behavior, toxic decisions. And luckily, none of it ever really bit me in the butt. So yeah, you you redefine everything in your life where you're just masking or you're just delaying the inevitable. So most of my friends did stick around, even the partiers. Turns out I'm weird. Uh, I'm just as crazy sober as I was ever drinking. <laughs> and what I was trying to create, and this is why it's so hard for people to put their hands around. I'm just weird the way I do things. I do think everything in my life backwards. So I begin with the end in mind, and I work it backwards. So what was I trying to do? I, I, my, I'd go to a therapist and he'd say, quit drinking. And then, and then what happened was I quit drinking and then I felt all my feelings. People usually feel their feelings and quit and start drinking and then quit drinking. Um, I did everything in reverse. And then all of a sudden, the way the world came on me, and I realized why I quit, why I started drinking in the first place. And once I was able to realize why I started, it was easy to, to, to stay stopped. And it just turned out that once I, I, I addressed the childhood trauma and the wounds and becoming the person, so I drank so I would fit in. Mm-hmm. And when I realized that I, I'm never going to fit in <laughs> because I'm different and weird. And I love being different and weird. I love going down the road, less traveled because it's harder. Uh, and it's the road, less traveled for a reason. That's why I named it harder than life. I am harder than life. So, uh, 
the first year or two, I lost a lot of friends. And then as they realized I was going to, this was the course I was going and they realized this, that I'm still the same guy. Many of them came back. Now, people that are really enthralled in the, in the, the grasp of alcoholism, they don't want to be around me because it's a mirror and you know, like attracts like, and people don't want to see uh, somebody else doing better because it just exacerbates them. Mm -hmm. I still sh show up for those people because my goal, the harder than life brand is to raise money for charity to, to, to pay three different charities. One of them is a, an addiction resource center. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like showing people the impossible is possible. And um, every single day, I inspire one person to at least look at their nature of the association with alcohol. Now, I, I also am an, a big fitness guy. So we have a fitness app coming out. So look for that soon. And, you know, they kind of go one in hand in hand. I believe physical fitness doing that on a regular basis gets your mind right to be able to vibrate at a high level and then say no to a lot of the toxins. Now, remember, alcohol is only one toxin. There's cannabis, yeah. there's scrolling on social media, there's you know doing household chores, anything that keeps you from feeling your feelings. And I got a newsflash for you. Feeling is healing. So if you just sit in your shit, sorry, I don't, I'm sorry to swear, but if you sit, it sounds funny when you say it, sit in your shit. Um, it actually calms down because as you become experienced in something, you realize, oh, it's not really that bad. Mm -hmm. It's it's just life is, and it just, David, I ask people this, how good can you handle life? If you could, if you want to experience life at, at a really high frequency, follow these couple of things I tell you to do. And they're not, it's not proprietary to Siegel to me. It's very simple things. Let's work out every day. Let's move our body. Let's be grateful. Let's journal. Let's say no more than we say yes. Um, uh, and just protect your peace at all costs and love yourself from the inside out. A lot of times when I get out of alignment, you'll see me walking around tapping my heart. And it's just a it's just a visual reminder, center myself, Siegel, center myself. Mm -hmm. And it, it, you know, I get out of alignment here and there. And it just brings me right back. Mm -hmm. And I love everything. And it just keeps getting better and better and better. It's good with good practice actually. Helps you calm down, helps you center, helps you get more in touch with your heart because people don't have that mind heart connection. They lose that. Uh, oh, what do they say? The, the heart beats the brain. <laughs> that makes me laugh. I'm like, no, bring it back to your brain. Your brain is smart. It knows what it is. But as you said, the body, it, it, everything is reversed. It goes back up to the brain. And, and um, you know, I just, that I think the, the little, the, the little sun-esque thing over your shoulder I, is, is how I feel about my heart. Mm -hmm. I believe that there is something emanating from my heart that is energy mm -hmm. that is coming through this computer screen and going to you. Do you feel it? Oh, yeah, I feel it. Well, well you know, you can measure that, right? Your heart has... Oh, no, tell me. Your, everybody's heart has an electromagnetic field. And with a device, you can actually measure it out 20 feet. Oh, mine mine goes farther than 20 feet. I'm Superman. Come on now. Well, well, that's that's just the measurable field. There's also the scalar or the quantum energy that comes out. That's That goes infinitely, right? But we haven't discovered the technology to measure that yet. But we can measure the effects of it. For example, you can pray for somebody and somebody will be healed, right? Yeah, you can measure the effect. The person's getting healed. You can measure that. But you can't measure the energy coming out of, your, of yourself. But what's the device that we use to measure the, the part that we can measure? It's just an electromagnetic uh, field meter. Uh, it's a highly sensitive one. So, so you can measure the one, that, that energy field about 20 feet. But there's wow. different kinds of energy that come from your body, right? There's lots of different kinds of frequencies. Uh, there's actually light frequencies, infrared frequencies coming out from your, from your hands and from your, from your face, biophotons. So they can actually measure light particles coming out of your body. Okay, there's that. There's also the uh, electromagnetic, so it's a magnetic field, same as the uh, magnetic field from Earth. It's like a gravity field. Okay, that's coming out. And then there's also number three is the um, 
the scalar energy, or we call the quantum energy field, which actually goes faster than light. That's how, how the psychics are able to, to use their abilities. <laughs> Do you believe in psychics? Yeah, of course. We, I think we're all psychic to a certain level, right? I mean, how many times have you uh, thought of a person and they text you? Or how many times have you uh, dreamt of something and it happened? Maybe at least once or twice in your life and you can't explain how, how to happen, right? So every one of us has some kind of, um, you know, some kind of psychic ability and some people have it stronger than others, I think. Wow. I don't know more. What is this, what is it that you do for the, your your day job? Well, I'm a founder. I'm a health tech founder. So I've developed uh, these coils called Chi coils, and uh, I used to be in software development. So I also developed software, um, which has ten thousand programs. So everybody's talking about how do you get into high frequency? How do you get into a frequency of abundance? How do I attract abundance? How do I manifest things? Well, did you know that there's actual specific frequencies for those things? Right. And how do you get in those frequencies? Probably doing what I what I what I recommended: meditation, journaling. Yeah, well, this is this is like that, except you don't have to put in any effort, right? Meditation, you have to sit down, meditate, focus, and breathe and stuff, which is great. We all need to do that. But I created technology that I could do it automatically. So you, you can have one of these, you can have one of these coils in the background. These are actually pretty big, two by two feet, and this covers the whole house. It actually sends measurable electromagnetic fields based on the frequencies we develop to help people meditate, or help people get sober, or help people with trauma help people um, focus or, or uh, be more creative or problem solvers in their business. So, so, there, so there are no coincidences in this world. How in the heck, and forgive me, I, as you, as we talked about before we hit record on this, you know, we found each other by the, by some weird electro field. Um, is, is that where, where do you get one of these? Where, where do you order one of these and what do they cost? Yeah, that's just, uh, you can order from my website, chilifestore.com. They start from 400 bucks all, all the way up to 24,000 if you want like a huge setup for their whole house. That's insane. That's yes. so awesome. Um, but let's just go back to my story so you can learn, learn Thank more. Thank you. So, <laughs> I ask everything in reverse. I told you I was weird. <laughs> so, so I start with the end. What did you do? And now how do we go backwards? Go ahead. Yeah. So um, I was uh, chronically sick for 10 years um, and I had a digestive disorder, ulcerative colitis. So you're bleeding internally every day. Uh, it's so bad that I can't even leave the house because I, had, I was bleeding. I had to go to the bathroom every freaking 20 minutes. So uh, I was stuck there for 10 years because of depression. I, I did a really bad business deal. My mentor uh, at the time, I, I lost a quarter million dollars to him because I thought he was going to help me make money. But it ended up, he's just a con man. Stole all my money. I went to depression. And uh, then that made me sick. So for 10 years, you know, I had like a, a chronic fatigue, uh, brain fog, and I was like lost weight like crazy and had like these dark circles around my eyes that I couldn't get rid of and had skin problems and all that. So, uh, so it was not pretty, but then I kind of hit a point in my life, kind of like you, where I, said, I just got really tired and sick of living like that. And I said, God, there's gotta be a better way. And the way that I kind of went was, okay, I'm gonna do more meditation now. I want to explore this spiritual world that everybody, been talking about and uh, that led me to frequencies and that led me to some actual coils and technology uh, that supposedly was going to help you meditate better and get into deeper meditations so i did that I actually made my own coils and experiment with them i got those deeper meditations but what ended up happening was i healed myself in 90 days so i was using this frequency for my guts which actually reduced inflammation instantly and in 90 days i had no more ulcerative colitis so this is something that's completely incurable. All the doctors that I went to, all the experts said, okay, you gotta take this medication, this medication, this medication, none of them work and they're expensive. Um, and they gave me side effects. Uh, and I was able to cure it by myself at home, just using this device without any pills, no surgery, you know, not changing my diet, you know, dramatically. Uh, and so I said, you know what, there's people out there that need this because no longer was I sick, but I might heal my uh, emotional and mental health as well, because uh, I was not depressed anymore. Now I was focused, I was motivated. I built this business it's been about five or six years now. We're, uh, we have customers and clients all around the world. We have doctors and chiropractors and surgeons using all our technology. We're actually using our technology now in schools to help kids um, with ADHD and autism. And we're getting results nobody else can get. Okay, these experts, uh, these uh, counselors come to our class, 
and they say, how are you going to get, how do you get these kids with autism, which we couldn't get to even talk in years. And now they're in front of a class, leading the classroom, doing social emotional learning. It's unheard of. And we did it in four months. So that's another thing we're using the frequencies for is, is to help uh, kids learn, but we can use it for adults too. Uh, so that so it transformed my life. I had a new purpose, a new mission, I had a new business, and that's you know it's doing very well now. Um, so that's completely transformed. So that's kind of my my story. Did you? So it sounds a lot like Dr. Joe Dispenza, but Joe Dispenza is all about the meditation and really releasing and getting into the quantum. Mm -hmm. It sounds like yours is very very similar. It's just his is done through meditation. Is you, you're saying yours is done through an app or through the coils? Through the Help coils me understand that a little frequencies. bit. Through the coils are three frequencies. For example, like I can play one. So there's the different levels of frequencies, right? There's the sound, right? I'll play one for you, and you can hear, uh, hear how it sounds like. It's it's really really weird, but just relax and listen to it. <laughs> this is great, dude. I love this. Thank you. I'm fascinated. Yeah. So for example, and, and how do I get access? Do I pay a monthly? So this is, this, that's so, a trip, man. Trippy, right? How long do you have to listen to it for? Um, 15 to 30 minutes. Yeah. 15 to 30 minutes. And you could, do you recommend sit there and meditate or you just you have it meditate. playing in the you background? With it. So, so you can be passive or active. It doesn't matter because that's affecting you while you're, you're listening to it. Right. So do you, do you, is this an app that you pay for a monthly fee or is it a. Yeah, we have an app, um, but we have, uh, but the main thing comes in a tablet, right. With all our frequencies. So, so when you get a system that comes with the coils, it comes with the tablet, right. It comes with, you know, the whole kit and everything. And, uh, and like I said, there's different levels. So, so you got the, the sound frequencies. So you're listening to those. And then you, when you put the sound into the coils, it become invisible and they become magnetic. Okay. So like, if you put this in front of you, you got this energy field and you have to just sit in front of it. So you can be working, you can do doing a podcast and you can have these playing or broadcasting throughout your house. Well, what's, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so fascinated. You, you got, first of all, how did we find each other? Because this is, this is divine. Did you see, find me on Instagram? Yeah. I was just reaching out to, to you through Instagram. Oh, that's awesome. What's the website? I just, I, this did, I don't believe there are coincidences. What's the website? Chi Life Store. So QILifeStore.com. I am fascinated. Yeah. So yeah, we're, you know, we are same, same concept as Joe Dispenza. The only thing is we uh, do it with technology. Uh, I mean, people say, well, you don't need technology. I can just meditate. Yeah, you can, but this is, we'll make it easier for you to meditate. Does it Wait, get say you that in? one more time. I put G, G Y. QI, QI Life Store. You spell Chi as Q I? Q. I, I kept hearing G, sorry. Q I Life Store.com. Yeah. Wow. We're going to have to have you on the Hot and Life podcast. This, yeah. is, this has got to be shared with people. Where'd you come up with this? Um, as I said, I, I self healed and I have an engineering background. So I'm kind of fascinated with frequencies. I was a musician. So, like, you know, when I experiment with the frequencies, I kind of have a, I know whether it works or not. And I kind of get the feeling really fast and I get the effects really fast. Like some people can listen to this stuff for uh, a long time, not get it uh, a feeling until like many days later. But I'm one of those really highly sensitive people, maybe you are too, uh, where you can just listen to something or when you step into the room, you can really feel the energy in immediately or you can feel the energy from people very quickly. So I have that ability. Because I study Qigong um, meditation as well, right? This is, wow. Uh, how come it isn't blown up? I mean, what, what is, what's holding you back from, you know, like Joe Dispenis, huge. He's a monster. How, how is, how, why am I just hearing about this? And how is it not blown up? Look how young you look with Jim Quick. That's great. <laughs> you, you, how come it hasn't blown up? Um, it is blowing up. Just need to get this out there more. Yeah. I'm fascinated. What do you do with the coils? The, like the little one, I see the little small ones, three ninety nine. Where? What do you do with the coils? Do you just say, yeah, that one. What do you do with that? 
It's the same as the other ones. Uh, so you can, this has a three feet range. So you can just put it near you or you can wear it or you put it in your pocket uh, while it's connected. And you got the energy with you all the time. So you can bring it out, you know, when you drive your boat or drive your car, you can have it with you and get that energy all day. What does QI stand for? Qi. Qi is Chinese for life force. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I it's remember said Qi. Yeah, they spell it like you. Yeah. Got it. Fascinating, man. I don't know. I, I, I'm so glad we met. Yeah, definitely. So tell me, um, tell me about like, where, where'd you grow up? I grew up in Canada. I was born in Hong Kong and moved there when I was four. So it's been, yeah, Vancouver, Canada. What moved you? What, what, why'd your parents move from Hong Kong to Canada? Because the communists, <laughs> lots of people did. Lots of people did, right? When, uh, you know, in the 80s, there's a lot of Asian, uh, Hong Kong people came to Canada or to Australia or UK because they wanted to escape the economists. Because two, 2000 was when they were going to hand over Hong Kong back to China, right? It, I just read, um, hold on, stay with me. This book, Yen, Yen Mi Park, about while time remains. And she talked about how she escaped um, North Korea. Oh. Then to go to China to be sold as a sex slave, and then somehow made it to the United States. And she talks about the contrast of the United States versus uh, North Korea, and how we as Americans, you know, have such entitlement, and and how we think that like the internet going down, and how horrible it is when these guys didn't even have food to eat. Yeah. So that, that's kind of what I try to. Pre- preach like creating heaven on earth every day in your mind mm-hmm. because then it becomes a reality yeah is that kind of what you went through well it's not just that dramatic uh i mean you know hong kong was still under uh, uk rules so they were still under a democratic process at that time right so i didn't have to go through that but um we escaped that right because right now since it's taken over in the last few years, there's you know they've been suppressing and uh, people in Hong Kong, and then now it's, now it's basically China. Now it's communist. Now, do you yeah. believe that that China's trying to? I mean, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to make this political, but I just am fascinated by everybody and their beliefs and how everybody, you know, the Americans here, like especially Trump, was like China, this China, that. Do you believe that China is is trying to take over the world? I don't think they necessarily are trying to, they're just doing the, their best to be the very prosperous country. And then I think every country should just do the same thing, right? I mean, they're just doing what they can do, you know, in technology and, and whatever they think their policies are gonna be in order to be a prosperous country. So um, I think, uh, you know, whatever works for them, right? So, and there's a lot of things that we can learn from them and a lot of things that we should not do that they're doing. I think, um, you know, there's a lot of things that they can learn from Americans, which they did. That's why they're prosperous now, right? I mean, like 30 years ago, you don't have this manufacturing, you don't have this branding, you don't have this like huge, um, you know, superpower, but they learned from the Americans and now they have it, right? So, um, and they change everything, they, they update everything. I mean, just 30, 40 years ago, people were, so many people were living in farms and and in rural areas, they're still cooking in, in like stone stoves and stuff like that. It's not people, there's still people like that now, but they, they were able to uh, uh, increase the average salary of, of the, uh, of the uh, Chinese citizen dramatically over the last 30 years. You think, what made you stay in Canada and not move to North America or, you know, the United States? Excuse me? Um, what made you? I made you- don't know exactly why we move here instead of the States. I'm not really sure. But I'm glad we did because in Vancouver we have lots of um, lots of scenery, lots of uh, lots of you know we have the ocean right next by. We have the uh, the mountains. We have the trees. We have all the beautiful scenery here, and we have you know pretty good weather now. Is it Whistler? The, the, the yeah, Whistler. You know, is a world famous uh, resort, ski resort. It's only two hours away, so it's very convenient. So we have all the all the scen- scenic attractions. And green trees, you know, tall evergreens. Uh, we have the rivers. We have the, the the only thing that we don't have 
that that the states have would be maybe the water some of the water is probably a little bit cleaner i mean not cleaner but like prettier looking is this coil system are, are you seeing it ship internationally everywhere where and if so and the answer is probably yeah. yes where is it mostly shipping to the united states yeah mostly united states um california texas florida those are main states wow because they get it they get the frequencies right so they know that this stuff um is going to transform them and then how can uh me and the heart of the life brand support you well um you can you can uh be an affiliate if you like or we can do a podcast and we can talk about this to your your group uh, we also just started a charity called chi life foundation and that is to support uh, uh, kids education uh, with learning disability and also um, to help them heal uh, non-invasively so with just frequencies without you know the conventional you know drugs and uh, medications and surgeries I'd imagine this is works pr pretty well for kids that are quote unquote diagnosed with ADHD. Yes, yes, definitely. We've we've had results. We know it works already. We've we've done we've we've used it in the classrooms, and we have the results of them before and after. So before we had these kids, twenty six of them, they're the lowest performing. They're Q one, so lowest twenty percent performing. They couldn't even count to twenty. They couldn't write the alphabet. All right, this is how bad it was. So after four months using our frequencies and we have a, a learning system called a bright learning system which teaches uh, them how to do a special way of doing math now they're doing they're performing the top 99 percent in the states so they have their math scores went you? from the worst and now their math scores in the top one percent in the, in the in the nation do you have a case study of this this exactly i'm just tell i'll just talk to you i mean i just told you about this case study this is the case study i know but do you have it in documents yeah, so go to it's, it's on frequencymethod.com. So, um, so you see the charts there of what we'd be able to do. So these these kids who couldn't do, uh, who couldn't, you couldn't even approach. So some of these autistic kids, you can't even approach them; they'll scream. And now, uh, they are leading the class classroom. They are teaching the classroom, which is unheard of. And we're able to. Uh, so these are second graders, right? We started with them. They were doing math at a sixth grade level after four months. So they're beating all the regular kids even. That's why there's a book that's coming out. It's called Solved ADHD and Autism, Transforming Disability to Genius. So we're literally able to transform disability, what they label with disability, we transform them into geniuses because they're doing better than the regular kids at school. So I'm on this frequencymethod.com and it doesn't say anything about what it's just an advertisement for that's the landing page so i'll send you the uh if you go inside um you know if you opt in uh there's a page there oh to get before i enter the email address okay sorry i didn't i was slipping through it that's this is fascinating to me everybody in the world needs to know about this they do yeah so so that's why we have the uh charity and um we're you know we're taking donations for people who want to support this cause what else get so I've read a ton about uh, Joe Dispenza. I've read all of his books, and he talks about curing cancer. Some have you, you any case studies about that? Yeah, we have uh, cancer success stories on our website, T Life Story. We go to a reviews page. There's about six people who were had success with our technology with cancer. Uh, but as a disclaimer, we can't claim or that she calls our healing devices or medical devices. Uh, but we can show you the stories. So it's on the reviews page. So we've had success with those people with cancer. Uh, we we, it works really well with pain management, stress relief, sleep, energy levels. Um, yeah, it's all there. I, I you know, even if it's um, uh, what do they call that? Where you, where you're placebo? Even if it's a placebo effect, who gives a crap? If it's if it's better, if it, if they feel better and it and it cured, who cares how you get? Yeah, that? Well, I think we went beyond that. We know it's not placebo. So, um, but yeah, if it, if it is, then, then whatever results, you know, is, is important, right? Not. Yeah. Not, yeah. Results matter, dude. That's all that matters in the world. Really. It's, did we, are we winning or are we not? Man, I don't know how I've never heard of you before. I'm loving this. I, I wish I would have 
done a deep dive. So I got, I mean, it's your, your recording, but I, there's so much I'm going to look into and then I'll have you on the heart of the life podcast and we'll ask all kinds of questions. Like I, I just, I'm, I'm just fascinated by this. I can go down a rabbit hole. Yeah, it's, it's actually quite a lot. I've been working on this for many years. Right. So there's so many it, videos. Really- there's always one initial thing. Like I got to working out because my stepfather would, would was abusive. And I was like, I'm going to get big enough. So he can't, you know, what was the one thing that you they said? I, I, besides your sickness, what was the one thing where you're like, there's just gotta be something different. I know I wanted to be someone who makes a big difference in the world. Someone who uh, people can, say, hey, you know, uh, have you heard David Wong? You know, he's making things happen in the world and he's making changes, you know, that I want that. And you're the owner? Yeah, I'm the founder, yeah. How long do you think it takes, or how long do you do you, do you recommend people, it's a word I'm trying to say. I'm. Just, how long would I have to use this thing for before I notice a difference? 21 days. 21 days, this is insane. You gotta send me. You gotta send me the low end one. So I, before I have you on the podcast, because if if I have a little bit, the only thing in my life that's not great is my sleep patterns. Uh, for some reason, I get up two, three times a night. I fall asleep no problem, probably because I go so crazy during the day. Mm-hmm. I fall asleep well. Then I wake up two and three times, and I, I'm just yeah. not rested. Oh, that's so, easy. We have we have sleep frequency. I use every night. It works really amazing. It gets your your mind to. Uh, shut down and also gets you deeper sleep yeah so that's exactly what you, exactly what you need yeah we, we can... and then in, tw- in 21 days if this thing's better i'll freaking pump i'll get you on the podcast i'll put you all over my freaking social media because right? every i'm one of those guys that's that's why i'm so loud i want everybody to feel like i do and but tra- frankly the only problem i have in my life is not sleeping is not sleeping restfully Mm-hmm. I'm going to just keep telling people, Hey, this is my cheat code. I'm going to share it with everybody. So if, if you're, if it works, which I have no doubt it does, I just never heard of it. So I want to help. Yeah. Um, we can get that. We can get that happening for you. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll email you my address and it's, I, I've been looking through all this, like you have amazing reviews. There's nothing. Usually you can find something that says that anything, but go look at my reviews. You can see, everybody's like he takes steroids he's wrong about this and you can't do that and it's impossible to quit drinking the way he did like Mm -hmm. you know i already said i was weird (laughs) i do things weird i'm just results matter man and and i love it but there's nothing i i can't even find one negative report on you well because it's working i love it i love it (laughs) do you do any meditation anymore or no yes every day yes what else do you do i do boxing i'm a martial artist i saw the martial artist i, I saw that <laughs> yeah are your parents still alive yes they're and they live nearby um yeah my mom is here my dad's in hong kong so you're killing it at life loving it, everything what's your what's what's the what's next for you what's next well um we have the charity so that should be established in a couple months so we're gonna we're going to focus on that once uh, that's ready and then start raising funds and doing charity events to, to help these kids and for yep. research have and, children not yet well we got to get started they're fun <laughs> we have dogs <laughs> <laughs> they're like children but they just don't freaking talk back well i would argue i can look at my dog's face and know what the heck he's thinking <laughs> yeah you're psychic then <laughs> great he maybe he's just crazy like me yeah that's funny that's funny what else can we talk about you're interesting um well you know ask anything you want (laughs) what is this other light thing that's over your right shoulder well it might be your left i can't no the other one the blue thing is that this one yeah that that that's the that's that's the tablet with look like i wasn't sure so so um actually since we're talking about this so we actually have ten thousand programs in here and we have Dr. Rife's frequencies. Have you doc- heard of Dr. Rife, R-I-F-E? No. So he, he was a doctor uh, from 1930s, and he used a new invention with frequencies to cure 14 cancer p- 
uh, cancer uh, people with uh, with just frequencies. So he cured them completely. They were terminally ill, and he just treated them like three minutes a day for a few few days, a few few weeks. Is this royal rife? Yeah, royal rife. But and you have me googling more things. It's not very often that I get stumped. You have me googling everything. <laughs> I love it. I don't even know what to say. I'm so, lost for words. So, the, so since he invented this technology, it's called the Rife machine. Um, they, the, basically, the government or big pharma, they burned down his lab, stole all of his equipment and his research, and then they literally killed him. Well, not literally, but figuratively, because they put him into depression and he drank himself to death. So that could be kind of related to your your experience. But um, but since then, people have been able to use his frequencies that he's discovered. And how it worked was he found the frequencies for every disease almost. So every disease has a frequency. And it, like, for example, this cancer virus that he's working with, he found the frequency of it. He played it and then it made the virus explode without harming good cells in the body. So he, he created targeted frequencies to target cancer cells in the body and make them implode or explode. So break that down for the neophyte people. I know that everything is energy and how kind of like, it's almost like a small big bang theory is what he's saying. So break that down for lay users of how you use energy to affect other energy. Okay, well, you know, when you, uh, you've heard, you've seen people or opera singers sing and then make a glass shatter, right? Yes. So how that works is everything has a resonant frequency. And when you can hit that note, it makes it shake so violently that it breaks or explodes. So same thing happens on a, on a microscopic level. If you know the resonant frequency of a cancer virus or cancer cell, you can play it and make it shake so much it's gonna explode. And it's only gonna affect that cell because it has a specific frequency. So it won't harm the good cells in your body. So if that's true, then what if we found the frequencies for all the diseases, right? And that's exactly what we have. We found them already. So now we can use these frequencies from the software, just type in any condition, and then you'll be able to play those frequencies for whatever condition you, you want. I Sorry, you have me looking away because I'm, I just went down a rabbit hole, WebMD and the Rife thing. They don't... They say there's hasn't been any proof that it works, but then there's a yeah, way well, you, out. You know that's way, BS, right? <laughs> keep going down in the same article. And it says here, another review found that some types of electromagnetic waves can stop tumor growth. That to me is accepted as saying it does work. Yeah. But it's this is in WebMD. Ah, this is this is insanity. Well, it's interesting because five years ago, all the articles you say, oh, it's a scam, it's quackery, blah, 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 blah. Five years later, now we have all these like WebMD, NIH, um, with with lots of uh, research articles and reports saying, yeah, electromagnetic frequencies. Some of them say fight cancer, fight tumors, and a whole sorts of other things. So this is emerging. This is emerging. So finally, after 80 years that they assassinated this guy, the, the medical community, community is starting to say, this actually works. <laughs> so you know the guy lived till he was 83 so 83 back in let's see what year was he uh now well he died in 1971 uh -huh. so 83 years in 1971 was pretty freaking good yeah so but he went to johns Hop hopkins university guy was married for but she died very early on i mean this is just I, you got me going down a rabbit hole i tell I, everybody i you know this is your you're recording, but I highly suggest you go on a rabbit hole. I'm a naysayer as naysayers can be. I need to be proven with data, but I've already seen enough here that I'm interested that I want to figure it out. I'm going to take it and try it. And when it works, uh, I'm going to help you in every way, shape or form because I want to pay it forward. This is fascinating because, you know, I, I understand why just, and, and I'm going to say it in my words, and I'm going to be your infomercial. The reason why this doesn't isn't backed by so many people. It's because it doesn't make millions of dollars, billions of dollars like big pharma wants. It's it's much more um, beneficial 
for them to do chemo that doesn't freaking work at all because they can freaking make a hell of a lot more money mm-hmm. versus a $400 machine. Right. They make money with treatments, not cures. Correct. Correct. Wow. Who are you and where did, how'd you get in my computer? I love it. I'm going to read all of this. Uh, and then when I have you on the podcast, I have a, every deep down questions for you, but I, I'm so far, I'm usually a skeptic. Like there's no tomorrow and you've made a believer out of me. And I am, uh, you know, I, I grew the way I grew up. I don't trust anybody or anything. Mm-hmm. I've gotten better at it as I've gone down the the, the path of healing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I guess I would say I do trust a lot more people now until they show me not to, but your little innocent looking face and and, <laughs> and all of this data, usually, right, the, you know, you know how social or not even social media, you know how Google works. Usually it shows you the negative ones right up top, especially the way the algorithms work. The algorithms aren't wanting to show you like I open Instagram right now. It'll show me all of the negative reviews that I, or all of the negative comments doesn't show me any of the positive. Oh, yeah. I have to click into the comments to get the positive ones mm-hmm. because negativity sells. Negativity creates things, keeps me in the app. Yeah. So if I if there was something negative here, I would I would uh, it would have come up. Mm-hmm. So funny, God, life's best kept secrets. Yeah. So how would somebody uh, follow you or 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 to learn more about you? Well, we have, we have an easy website, harderthanlife.com. Harder than life, just spell it all out, uh, .com. I do uh, motivational keynote speaking. We have a podcast, Harder Than Life, available on YouTube, Spotify, and iTunes. Uh, we're gonna, we have interesting guests on weekly. I'm going to get you on. We're booked. It's so popular, we're booked till November. And then it's two months after that till it gets on. So it's it's blowing up. Mm-hmm. Um I have a book out called Harder Than Life. Uh, I think the next book, since I've kind of made this look easier, it will be called Easier Than Life. And if this, when this machine works and shows up the and, and the life gets better, then all I got to do is tell everybody to order the machine. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> so we're, and it's just, everything else is Kelly Siegel, uh, kelly.siegel.71 on Instagram and kelly.siegel on all other uh, things. And Siegel spelled uh, S-I-E-G-E-L. Mm-hmm little weird but um yeah as i said i was weird uh but life is really really good i tell everybody if they do the things that i do how good can you handle life and then i always try to figure out what we can do to raise the vibration a little higher and a little higher and a little higher and i think it's weird that this was scheduled we've been on my schedule now for a couple weeks and i was just talking to people this morning about vibrational frequencies and here you are Um, there are no coincidences in this world and when when you need to hear something and you and it, it appears so allow it into your life a lot of people spend so much time i say what we resist persists if you look back at hindsight is 2020 because we should have listened to it and it keeps god keeps presenting this to you and we just keep ignoring it don't be so stubborn that's where the dr joe spender talks about getting rid of your ego the ego is there to protect you Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't need protection. Sometimes you just need to listen and surrender and allow the universe to do its work. Right. Yeah. And that's what I think you're big. (laughs) All right. Well, thank you so much for your time and looking forward to uh, talking to you real soon. I'm going to send you back my, uh, my address. Send me your text or send me your cell phone because I'm going to have all kinds of questions and I'll just text. I, I work great on text. And if I get obnoxious, just say, Kelly, I need boundaries, boundaries. Okay. All right. So thank you very much. And that was the Chi Life Podcast. If you need to learn more, click the links below on the description to get a hold of uh, Kelly here. All right. Use the Chi and prosper.